What is going on ladies and gentlemen? So my friends over at Fracture Compass Productions released a video a few weeks back. Um, they went to March Madness for uh, Not Scary Farm. It's something that they do where they meet up uh, all the haunt monsters and they just, you know, hang out, say hi, catch up, uh, take a photo, and if they want to stay at Knott's and hang out. So they all went to uh, March Madness, but what was really cool is, of course, Fracture Compass going as Fracture Compass. They actually gave us a little um, a preview of what's going on behind the scenes with Not Scary Farm 2020. Um, they gave us our first look of construction that's going on at the parks that you can actually get a glimpse of. Um, if you use, the, if you go ride the train and you do the whole train ride where Shadowlands used to be, they started brand new construction for it. And Fracture Compass, thank you so much. They were very nice enough to let me use the footage to show you guys a visual of what that looks like. It might have changed from the time they filmed that video till now, but this is what uh, we got so far. Um, so yeah, uh, basically what this video is going to be about is this is going to be kind of our first episode of Not Scary Farm speculation. Now with Not Scary Farm compared to Halloween Horror Nights, it's a lot harder to speculate because a lot of their stuff is original mazes. Um, and this is just going to be speculation of going off the theming of last year and um, uh, my predictions of what they want to do probably leading up to the 50th anniversary, which is coming in a couple of years. Um, and if they're going to go off this storyline that they did last year with the whole origins of Calico um, and they want to eventually, I'm hoping, make that park wide, which would be really cool and tie everything in. Because if you guys went through origins, there was Easter eggs, Easter egg and all the different scare zones and stuff. So that kind of speculated okay maybe they're gonna tie everything in so what I'm here to talk about today is what I think might be going into that maze in the back right there um, where uh, Shadowlands was and where I think the park's gonna go leading up to the 50th anniversary so if you guys aren't uh, familiar by now Notch tends to change two, uh, one or two mazes um, every year so and they keep them for a couple of years but they will constantly add and change stuff uh, while of those years of operation so um, starting off with Shadowlands. Shadowlands was a great maze and I really enjoyed it. Um, of course, you know, it was about the suicide forest and everything in Japan, so that was really cool. Um, and this was its last year and they took that out as well as Special Ops Infected. So, what is going to go in Shadowlands? Well, from speculating the theming of Carnival, um, of course, which is all clowns, I think it would be really good if they made a maze based around something with Carnival, extending that story or extending the story of Origins more, tying in Carnival as well. Um, I feel if they were to extend the story of Origins um, park wide with all the scare zones, it would be really cool to see that kind of tie in and stuff. Like I said, we did get Easter eggs in Origins that kind of, um, you know, kind of showed all the other scare zones which was really cool so I would like to see a park wide uh, tie in to this whole thing um, which would be really cool um, so with the Shadowlands maze area I would love to see something themed around Carnival maybe an origins of the Carnival of how the clowns became how who they are and stuff um, maybe get a darker tale on the Carnival uh, scare zone as it is maybe there's something darker that we don't know about this scare zone than what we're seeing at the parks. So I would love to see kind of like an Origins of Carnival that ties into the Sarah Marshall curse, which would be really cool. Um, no word on what, uh, uh, no word on what's gonna go there yet. No word on, uh, you know, um, new maze is gonna be coming out yet. But the minute we get the word of that, we will share with you on this channel what we think and how excited we are. Um, so going off the theming of the entire park leading up to the 50th anniversary and if they're really going to go with this origins uh, storyline um, I think slowly little by little leading up to that 50th we'll see the entire park uh, tie into that origin storyline because it looks like they really uh, started a new chapter at Not Scary Farm this year which of course was with the origins the curse of Calico uh, given that that storyline of Sarah Marshall how she cursed the entire town and stuff uh, at the time of her hanging so I would love to see the other scare zones kind of take um, take part in that uh, um, storyline I mean it'd be really cool to see um, the hollow I think the hollow kind of already does somewhat tie in I'm not completely um, too much of an expert on haunt. I mean, I know a lot of stuff about the haunt, but I, I I'm still trying to get a lot of stuff. But I know the Hollow takes place a little bit before um, Origins actually happens, and it, it does deal with witches in 
the hollow and a witch hunter so um i think there's already somewhat tie-in in there uh but what i would love to see is each scare zone over the years start to change and get more of that feel for origins i mean um we should see there's no word on what special ops will be yet um uh so we'll stay tuned and hopefully when we find out more news about special ops or what's going to go in that location we'll, we'll let you know but i would love to see something tie in more to origins on that one as well that would be really fun and cool and also uh, another thing i would love to see at the event one one of these years and me and sammy have talked about in the past is since special ops is kind of done and they were known for using that gun technology of uh, you know, just just to kill the zombies and stuff. I would love to see that incorporated in uh, Dark Entities. Um, Dark Entities is very um, underrated maze. Every time we went, it was a very short line, and we walked right in. Um, but that was probably the one maze at the event that would scare me every time. So I would love to see them incorporate the special ops technology into um, Dark Entities. So as you're like shooting aliens and stuff, it would really put me in the vibe of those alien movies, which I think would be amazing. Um, but nonetheless. That's just my dream. I don't know if they'll do that. I don't know if there's plans to do that. I don't know. But I think that would be really cool. I think it would be really, really awesome. Watching movies like Alien and, you know, the Predator movies and stuff, it'd be really cool to just put and immerse yourself in a universe like that. So, yeah, that's that's just what I think right now for what's going to be going on at Not Scary Farm. It's, of course, when we get more news on that, this is the channel you want to be at. Fracture Compass you want to go to them too. They are on the front lines of Knots, man. That's their home turf right there. So they're such good friends of the channel. So thank you again, Fracture Compass, for uh, contributing to this video and letting us use footage that you guys took because um, we are not able to go out to the parks. We don't have passes or anything. So um, Fracture Compass are definitely the people you want to go to first before us. But we will be updating you guys any information we get. And uh, we love each and every one of you. Stay safe. Stay clean. Uh, wash your hands. Don't touch your face, even though I've probably touched my face a lot in this video. Um, and, uh, yeah, stay sane.